Are you fishing in Elder Scrolls Online and getting nothing but used bait? Are you looking for some of those super rare fish so you can have the rare title of Master Angler? Look no further, this guide will explain why you want to fish and how to do it so you'll actually catch something. So, what's the point of fishing? Well, fishing in Elder Scrolls Online has a couple different reasons. For provisioning, achievements, and perfect row. There is a title attached to an achievement for finding all the rare fish in all of the base game zones. This title is Master Angler, and there is no easy way to get it. You just need to fish. There are also fishing achievements for all the different DLC zones, but you do not need to do those to receive the Master Angler title. In most zones, there are six different green fish and three blue fish. Normally, two green and one blue are associated to one water type, but if there's a water type missing in a zone, as you can see there is an Oridon, then you will have a couple extras in those water types you do have. All the white fish, which are not used for the achievement, can be filleted and turned into a provisioning ingredient. You guessed it, fish. When you are filleting all those white fish, there's a small chance you will have a sudden golden glow about you and be lucky enough to find Perfect Row. Perfect Row is a legendary quality provisioning ingredient used in legendary quality recipes. It's likely best known for an ingredient in Sigic Ambrosia, which is the XP boost drink. If you want to know how to get that recipe and how to make it, feel free to check out my guide on that. To fillet fish, all you need to do is select the fish and select the use key. So the same key as if you were equipping a piece of armor. Now, depending on your goal, you're probably looking for different fish. You're either looking for rare ones for the achievement or white plain ones for perfect row. But either way, you won't want to be catching used bait. Use bait means that you are using the wrong type of bait for whatever type of water you are in. Now on to the part where you actually learn to catch something useful and not use bait. Every fishing hole, like this one you see here, I'll go in first person mode. It's kind of a tough one to see, but you'll see that splashing in the water. That designates a fishing hole. Every fishing hole has a water type. The water type determines what bait you can find in it, what bait you need to use to fish in it correctly, as well determines what rare or normal white fish you're going to catch from it. Ocean water is pretty easy to figure out. It's any water that is in the ocean. In ocean water, you will find the common white fish, dewfish, and longfin, and to successfully fish in ocean water, you're going to use worms or chub as your bait. You are able to catch minnows, which are actually the bait used in lakes. Lake water is also normally pretty easy to figure out. Here you will find silverside perch and spade tail fish. The bait you will be using is guts and minnows. You are also able to catch shod, which is a bait used to fish in river water. In river water, you'll find yourself catching river betty and salmon. You'll need insect parts or shod to catch them. You of course can also catch fish row, which is a bait used to fish in foul water. Foul water is sometimes the trickiest water to figure out. Some water looks pretty gross, like you can see here, and can easily be assumed as foul. Sometimes though, it'll be like a little river fishing hole, but there will be dead bodies nearby in the water, so that fishing spot will actually be foul water. In foul water, you'll be catching trode and slaughter fish. If you're using the right baits, which are crawlers and fish row, you can also catch chub, which is the bait used in ocean water. Sometimes it's hard to tell what water type a fishing hole is. For example, there is a little bit of gray area where a river meets a lake on what exactly the fishing hole is, or where a river meets the ocean. Throw in some bait, and if you catch a white fish, you should be able to figure out what the water type is from that white fish. If you reel in used bait, you know that's the wrong bait. So, I mentioned how you can catch baits in water types. But remember, you will never catch the bait you need to fish in the water type you're currently fishing in, in that 
hole. You will always catch bait for a different water type. For example, ocean water, you need worms or chub as your bait. You will find worms by killing undead in the world or maybe finding them when picking clothing or alchemy plants. Chub is actually something you catch while fishing in foul water. Here's a quick chart just on bait. What you need to use or what type of bait you might catch. So you need some bait, hey? Here's where you will find the different baits. Crawlers are found in resource nodes when harvesting, as well can drop from passive mobs such as spiders and killing undead. Guts drop off of small passive mobs such as rabbits, squirrels, and frogs. Worms, which are considered the toughest bait to find, can be found when harvesting plants and they also drop from undead mobs. Insect parts are pretty simple. They can be harvested from, well, insects. Grab torch bugs, flesh flies, and butterflies to round up some bait. All right, go ahead and find yourself some bait. Oh, and if you see simple bait at a merchant, stop. Don't buy it. Simple bait sucks. Now that you've rounded up some bait, let's find a fishing hole. Fishing holes are pretty easy to spot with the splashing going on. Once you find a fishing hole, you use your interact key, E on PC, to throw out your line. If you have not selected any bait, you'll need to hold down your interact key and a quick slot wheel specifically for bait pops up. Roll over the bait you want to use and let go. You can see as you hover over the fishing hole, it now shows you what type of bait you currently have selected. If you have a crafting bag, all your characters have access to your bait at all times. If you don't have a crafting bag, make sure the bait is in your inventory as bait in your bank won't show up on the quick slot wheel. Now you just wait a bit and after a while you'll hear a little sound and you'll see your fishing rod getting pulled. Use your interact key, E on PC, to reel in. If you wait too long, the fish is gonna get away. Now, if you happen to use the wrong bait and you catch used bait, be sure to take it. I'm not personally sure if it's just a myth or if it's true, but it appears that if you throw used bait back in, you may instantly get it again, even if you switch to the correct bait type. After taking that used bait, be sure to change your bait and try something new. If you catch a white fish, you might want to look at this chart and make sure you're using the right bait since the type of white fish will only be found in one water type. You can catch white fish using the wrong bait, although you will end up catching used bait as well, which, well, it'll waste your time and your bait. Sometimes when you catch something, you will actually reel in a wet gunning sack. These are great and be sure to take them. Wet gunny sacks can contain crafting materials, tempers, and more. Be sure to take them and open them up from inside your inventory. Well, that's all there is to fishing in Elder Scrolls Online, but I just want to leave you with one final thought. Remember, simple bait sucks. Thanks for tuning in. If this guide helped you out, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you want to be notified of my future videos. Happy fishing in Tamriel!